Salut Denzel et bienvenue dans la leçon de cette semaine. Well, so far it's been a wonderful moment and uh, we've taken a very long time to discuss about the lesson on the weather conditions. Obviously looking at sentences which are used in describing the different weather situations. So in this week's lesson, we are practically going to complete just exercises based on that particular uh, a lesson. But of course, <clears throat> before we get to those exercises, we're going to have a quick look again at some words. Remember the last time we're looking at vocabulary phrases which are used in describing the different weather conditions. But right now, we shall look at those vocabulary words which are sometimes used in making sentences that describe these weather conditions. So we're going to look at some of the phenomena, like, uh, for example, how to call the sun, how to call clouds, and how to call rain, and of course, so many others, because we know these are the things which bring alongside the different weather conditions which we obviously has. And of course, from those words, we get the sentences. Now, let's have a look at the first word. The first item which obviously brings sunlight is called the sun in English, and in French, the sun is called Le soleil. Could you please repeat? Le soleil. Very good. The next item we're looking at is the clouds. The clouds. And how do you call the clouds in French? Les nuages. Again. Les nuages. So you realize that's why when we want to say sometimes it is cloudy, we sometimes use the sentence Il fait nuageux. Or simply, il est nuageux. So you see, from nuageux, we use this word right here. Just like when we want to say, it is sunny, we say, il fait soleil. You see that we use the word le soleil here in order to describe that particular weather at the moment. All right, so those were for le soleil, the sun, and of course, les nuages for the clouds. Let's move on to the next. The next item is the rain, and you can clearly see the rain, of course, always brings a lot of cold and rainfall. So how do you call the rain in French? We call it la pluie. Could you repeat? La pluie. Good. That is for rain. Next item we're looking at is snow, which is what you just passed right now. At the moment, you're experiencing spring. And of course, there was uh, during winter, there was a lot of snow. Sometimes we equally experience snow right now. So how do you call snow in French? It is la neige. Not to be mistaken with Le Nuage. So you look at the two, they are different. But before we get to La Neige, let's look at the rain, which is La Pluie. La Pluie. La Pluie is for the rain. And just like we said earlier, snow is called La Neige. Again, I mentioned that you should not mistake La Neige with... Les nuages, those are different things. It's true to start with the N, but you can see they are quite different words. So that is how you call snow, la neige. And of course, the last item we're going to look at today is how to call the wind, which again is what you're experiencing currently uh, during the spring season. And obviously, the wind in French, we call it le vent, le vent, le vent. Just like one wants to explain that it is snowy, we say, il fait du vent. When we want to say, uh, sorry, when we want to say it is windy, we say, il fait du vent. Remember, le vent for the wind, so we say, il fait du vent. When we want to say it is snowy, we say, il neige. Il neige. We saw that. When we want to say it is rainy, il pleut. So you see that the verb is a little different from the word we actually have here. But yeah, whenever we ask you, of how we call the rain, this is the word we're expecting to use, la pluie. Très bien. And after this, we shall now complete exercises. Of course, you can see them right here. Uh, we have some pictures alongside some words which explain every picture. The words, of course, explain every picture we should have right here, depending on the weather. You can see some on the first picture, for example, it is raining. We expect you to choose from these words here the sentence which should indicate that it is raining. We'll do that, of course, for the second and right on to the last photo. And we shall not just end with those exercises. We shall have more exercises, of course, talking about this. And then just after that, 
we shall conclude the lesson on la meteo and move on straight to another sub lesson on the la meteo of course talking about les saisons the seasons the four seasons we should know of we've partially talked about it as well but uh, in that lesson we're going to take a deeper look of course at it and then subsequently get back into sound building where we shall obviously have a look at some words combination of letters see how they are pronounced and in that case that will also help you pronounce more words i'm already happy of course with the way you are able to at least read right now that is good but of course we're going to push it down a little bit to another level but for now it's just time to focus on la meteo which is of course the weather looking at the different words of how we call these different weather items in french we've seen the sun we've seen the clouds and so on and we're going to real you're going to realize that we shall use those same words in explaining these different weather situations so the lesson of course this midweek will be just completed of more exercises uh where we shall complete a lot of live worksheets on this and of course that will be it that will be after discussing as well about the last video which i sent to you in our previous live lesson that was of course last sunday so that'll be all for today catch you on sunday's live lesson for now it's time for us to say au revoir et à bientôt bye bye